while I'm waiting for this printer to warm up. We're going to start printing the base for this model. This is the IP man. And you can see this came out very good on the Mingda. There's pretty much no flaws at all. Even the little point came out good. See that? We'll peel off the supports and see what we got here. This is their latest uh, printer, the Mingda Magician X. It's a dual, I mean, well actually it does have dual filament support. But it is a uh, direct drive extruder, dual Z, auto bed leveling. See how nice that came off. It's always nice when you don't have to fight your supports, I think. Let's see what we got here. Actually quite a rainy day today outside. Some problems with this model on other printers because the uh, ear didn't come out good but this one here did a very good job Let's clean this out of here anyways like I said, this is their new Ming the Magician printer. I had an earlier printer from them, the D2. And they wanted to send me this one to try out, uh, give my opinions on anything. That ear came out very good. Like I said, I had problems with that because it prints upside down and the supports don't catch it exactly. You have some problems, but that looks very good. So, very pleased with this model. This is going to start printing now the base. Ports came right off. There's always a little bit of uh, roughness on there, but that's why I put them in the back of the head. So your print always comes out clean. You don't want to ever have supports touching your chin, touching your nose. <laughs> always try to print your heads like that. This has the ribbon style cable, which is uh, some people are starting to use these again. This has a nice 20 by 60 X carriage metal across it, which uh, I don't know, I definitely like better than the little 2020s. Uh, some printers have the 2040s, but they went with a 2060 on this one. This looks like a Gates belt. Not exactly sure. I haven't seen the labeling on the belt. There is a uh, tension adjusters on both axes. And like I said, it does have the dual Z and there's a synchronizing belt up at the top there. Can't see it. We're not looking at the back of the printer. This is just uh, card storage here. You have a... Uh, USB full size and then a USB C, I think, here for your connections. There's a little toolbox storage here, which I have my tools in. Uh, 
carborundum type base, you know, ultra base, I guess it's called. When I came out this morning, uh, this print just came right off. There were, I actually didn't use glue on this like I typically do. This, uh, this adhered very well and it came off uh, effortlessly. It was just floating on the surface when it came out this morning. But this looks very good. Probably the best copy that I have made with this IP man. You can see the skin textures. Very nice. Alright people, we'll get the uh, base done. Put this together or put it on my shelf. I typically don't use red plastic, but there's something I <laughs> had laying around, so run it through. But yeah, the plastic results were very good too. Mingda Magician X. Take care. Happy printing.